Here we go, boys.
so one thing I noticed overall is when I'm playing with the battery behind me, um, my heights creep up um, in a lot of the spots where I would normally have much lower dynamics in my lows. Um, particularly, I noticed this in any of those. In any of those, I feel like my heights were just way too high compared to what we normally are doing in full ensemble. Um, the one note, wrong note on that, uh, after the um, that one was really out. Um, the, as far as timing between front to back battery, the uh, bar before letter H um, was one spot that we really identified um, in this rehearsal that was like consistently like, so the battery has um, digga digga, uh, one and a two, um, and it's uh, accent, accent, uh, and then like three taps, I think. Um, and then that that uh, rhythm is not like very, very clear front to back as we're also playing 16th notes. Um, I was really glad to see that my while performing, my outsides and my technique maintained. That was one good that I noticed from this. Um, oh, another spot is the timing. Uh, Josh called this out last week, and the timing on the boom, ba, boom, ba, boom, ba got, got a little bit sloppy in a few places, and it, it sounds like um, just making sure there's a consistency of sound in the, in the left hand between dotted quarter notes and quarter notes. Yeah, um, definitely agree with the overall sentiment of your heights creeping up. Yeah. Definitely, um, that was like the, the biggest overall comment. You just play everything much louder to try to blend with the sounds around you and try to adjust to being a soloist in this situation, yeah. which is understandable. But at the end of the day, it's like, do you want to be playing your like correct role and still have that contrast? Or do you want to just like try to be heard by this video? Yeah. Just making that decision clear. Um, besides that, um, it was super fun to watch you. I thought the whole entire time as being a soloist, like you're the only person in the whole front ensemble being represented there. And it was like super cool watching you doing that. So that was fun. Um, to get really specific, some of the other moments that I thought really stuck out, uh, these are just still actually all dynamic phrasing things that just didn't come across clear. The accents at the very beginning intro thing, that digga 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 right yeah. at B was like not visible at all. It was like no difference. Okay, yeah. um, and then, uh, the split part for the herders was the odd evens thing. Your uh, second entrance to the top, which should be a mezzo piano, that's what we defined it as, was Too pretty loud. up there as well. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So, yeah, those two specific moments were like, um, like most noticeably louder than everything else, and yeah, just yeah, the especially comments. like the the second one. I'm by myself in this video. Like, there, there's no excuse to overbalance when I, when it's just me. Well, for the battery specifically, I feel like every time we play the 16 notes. Biggity, 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 boom. The accents don't really come across. Um, maybe because it's like really choppy, but like I feel like that shouldn't be an excuse. Um, I feel like the snares and quads could play like more exact dynamics. There are some moments we do like inflate the taps, like me and Ryan. Um, timing wise, it's kind of hard to hear in this video because it just sounds like a lot of battery. So yeah, I can't really like I feel like we had a clear perspective of that when we were actually doing it than like a fuzzy. <laughs> One note that stick out, stick, sticked out the both time like really really bad is like da, 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 da. that was like way on time. So the next phrase after that was always like slow. And I feel like personally when I play a lot of notes, my uh, tap tap height like really comes up. It's not even my tap height coming up. It's just my heights become undefined. Like I just gotta keep thinking of that. And I feel like just my energy is just wrong like i'm i'm going straight up instead of like uh, i mean straight forward instead of going up and like i don't know it just feels off i feel like all our energies were kind of different yeah. you know like nick's nick's has like a real vibe to it like he's at a concert and we're back there just like yeah drunk <laughs> it seems like very different like i feel like putting our performance in a perspective of what the ensemble is playing rather than like what the battery is ramming is probably like a better challenge for us to match yeah that's huge we'll, we'll learn a lot through ensemble getting to uh, understand the melodic content and how we connect to that um first one i like uh, looked a lot of, uh, about myself and my hands the entrance to d was super overplayed and then kind of settled into four inches um the accents don't come across like you said um i thought quads f um it's pretty good. The most inconsistent thing is from individual practice. I think the biggest ensemble thing though was um, H. Um, the uh, the pickup note before it going into the violet roll like at H. 
I feel like timing wise, it's really iffy. Like either slow on the sixteenth note and then like have to recover on the five and like have to speed up the five or like it's kind of like a weird pu pushy pulley kind of thing. And I noticed that um, in rehearsal too. Um, and then coming out um, into the nine lane, ticket 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 ticket, gong 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 gong, can be push or pull like inconsistent. Um, getting out of that phrase with like from every member as well um, that we discovered. Um, that's pretty much all I have. I just have to play a little lower. Um, as an individual and raise my hands a little bit so I can play taps a little more relaxed and just kind of puppy paw it a little too tense So that's all I got. And Nicola, one more spot or a couple more spots we noticed between marimba and battery literature um, to be hyper aware of um, F to H between the quad parts um, I think we talked about this a little bit but just making sure all of those hair tilts line up they have the exact same figure for each hair tut and then the 16th or 8th or 8th um, note or the 6th couplet or triplet following um, and then uh, for the um, uh, right before, I believe it's H2. Is that what we were talking a lot about, Eric? Bum, 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 bum. After the, the three five-lit passage in the six-four bar. Is that the right, Eric? Yeah, yeah. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, one. Yeah, so it, yeah, right yeah. in the... in the. Uh, do you know what space I'm talking about, uh, Nikolai, after the octave yes. run? Okay, so in that space, um, the, the battery has three five-lets, but the second five-let has an accent... Um, right after beat three, so like on the second five lit partial of beat three, and it's really easy to interpret that as beat three, um, and to just interpret it as like the incorrect rhythm. So that's one space we notice to be um, like extra hyper aware to making sure we're landing on that strong beat, um, big beat one um, with the battery, because um, it, it would set up the rest of that chunk to be um, successful or not, as they're just like ramming notes right there. Um, so just a few other things we noticed from this ensemble about um, cohesion between the two different parts. Yeah, I would agree. Um... You mentioned that earlier, that F section, and it made me pay attention more to it this rep, but I could definitely sense like the very first like bar or two, it felt like really deep in the pocket, but as the parts got more and more long, mm -hmm. it got a little bit more rubby and a, just a little bit more uncomfortable between yeah. the ensemble. For sure. So just like now that you have that focus on that moment and know what it sounds like, you just got to sleep on it and just like really internalize it so then you can deliver all the way through rather than just like select focus moments. Awesome. On a slightly unrelated note, have you guys ever watched the solo, um, well not a solo, it's a percussion quintet called Marimba Spiritual? Yeah, like it has that. a Marimba and like four drummers, like that's exactly what this type of like setup <laughs> reminds me of right now. And that like wall of sound of all the percussion. Nice. <laughs> okay, cool. A lot of information to digest. Um, yay. Close.